it is finally finally summer which means it is iced coffee season it is getting to film in the middle of the day when the daylight is still good season it is snuggle with the dog season it's DIY completely redo your house season. Maybe that's just me. Um, but as far as business goes, it can be a little bit weird because we, as if you're watching this, I assume that you are here because you sell on like TBT or other, you know, equivalent teacher things. And so it's like, okay, well, I sell things for teachers right now. You know, I'm not making very much money at all. It's very depressing. Um, but that's because it's summer. But I do have time right now because I'm also on summer, which means I have time to create resources and I have time to make videos and I have time for all those things. So it gets really weird about like, okay, if I finish a product because I have all this time, do I post it? And that's what we're going to talk about today in this super chatty little video here. I'll give you a spoiler. The answer is yes. So if that was all you wanted from the video, you can go ahead and click out. If you want to hear reasoning and thinking and all that stuff, then you can keep watching. Um, but it's going to be like a super chill, super chatty video because I feel like this has been a bit of my solution. I've been talking to you about like just having so many things to do and trying to like simplify some things and having a couple of videos that are like, let's just chit chat about this little topic um, is I think kind of my solution to simplifying some stuff because it's kind of like a middle ground of still continuing to post things but not every video has to be like monumentally amazing and 30 minutes long and all that kind of stuff so hopefully you're here for this so let's talk about posted products but first we shall take a sip with salted caramel cream cold brews are getting me posting your products um it can be weird and this is always a question that i get a lot and so that's why i wanted to address this is if you finish a product now and it's june or it's july or whenever i end up posting this video um when do you post your product because if you post it right now it's like oh but then our teacher is going to see it or teacher's not gonna see it um yeah it's it's weird so here is my two cents on the whole situation first of all um tpt is not the same as like instagram or youtube or any of those things it is not a social media platform which means it is not when you post something it's not like good for a few hours and then it's not good anymore when you post something on instagram i notice that i get most of my views on instagram in the first like 24 hours and then i don't really see many views after that usually every once in a while something will change even on youtube most of the views for most things will happen in the first like week and then after that sometimes it does pick up sometimes it picks up later youtube is weird um but social media especially like it's you know you post something it's good for a little while and then nobody sees it again really and that's just how it is tpt is not like that because tpt is not a social platform so when you post something usually nobody sees it for the first 24 hours or for the first week it takes time for your products to gain some traction so yes you do have the benefit of um, tbt sends emails that will be like new from your favorite tbt resource um, teachers or uh, words authors and so if someone has favorited your shop they'll get that email and your new product might be in it or when they open up their um tbt website they'll have new from your favorite tv like authors there as well um but honestly like i don't know about you but i don't get like a ton a ton of views from those things typically most of the views on tbt come from search and people don't find you on search immediately it takes some time for your products to gain some traction through search through you sending people to them to get views for people to purchase and so it is better to have a resource that has been up for a while than it is to have a brand new resource i talk about this a lot when we get to the sales because i always tell you the things that do best in the sales are bundles and products that have been around for a while because people have seen first of all that they're doing pretty well they also maybe have had them on their wish list or in their cart for a while before the sale and so products that have been around a while tend to do better which you know stinks if you're brand new but the good thing is that you know if you're brand new now in six months 
you've had six months and so your product has been up longer so if you can post your product in june or in july it's going to do a little, a little bit better than it would if you post it in september because it's already been around people have already been able to see it they've already been able to find it they've already been able to favorite it stick it in their um cart you've already had time to talk about it on instagram and on pinterest and all those kind of things so the sooner you can get it up is better the best time you can post a product is as soon as it is done post it asap because it'll gain some traction and people will be able to see it more I kind of spoiled number two. I also didn't actually write anything down for this one beyond it just says post your resources. Um, so I'm making the, all the numbers up. But number two is that when you post a product, you then have time to talk about it. So if you have email, if you have social media, if you have blog or YouTube or Pinterest or any of those kind of things, you now have you know a month and a half before school starts to talk about your resources before school starts. So you have time to gain traction on all those different places and especially, especially, especially if you're doing blogging and Pinterest because blogging and Pinterest tend to be delayed by a while. For Pinterest, it's typically like three to six months delay. So like when I'm pinning stuff now, I'm filming this in June. So I'm currently filming July, August, September. I'm, I'm currently pinning September, through like December stuff, which means I'm pinning fall. I'm pinning back to school still a little bit. I'm pinning Hispanic Heritage Month. I'm pinning also evergreen, but you know, details. Um, and it, like I'm pinning things that are good for like September and October, we can start with Halloween. And so like when you are doing those kind of things, it's really helpful to have your products up early so you have plenty of time to promote them on the other platforms. Same thing with blogging. Blogging tends to be three months to a year off. And so if you want to write a blog post about your products, the best time to do that is now because it's not gonna gain traction for a few months from now. The good thing with those two things, with Pinterest and blogging, is they tend to get better with time. So even though you're not, you know, maybe you're not getting a thousand views today, when the longer time has gone, the better those will do. And so that is the helpful thing about those. Um, but also on Instagram, you know, you can talk about things on Instagram. And even if people don't purchase it today, they're gonna see it. Which leads me to point number three, which means that teachers have more time to be on all those other things right now. Even if teachers aren't necessarily buying things on TPT right now, you know what teachers are doing? Sitting on Instagram. You know why I know that? Because I have been on Instagram a lot. <laughs> over the last couple of weeks and so I noticed that I've definitely been on Instagram a lot more and I've noticed that a lot of my people have been sending me more messages and commenting on more things because they've been on Instagram a lot more than usual and they have more time to read blog posts they have more time to watch videos I've gotten a lot of comments on videos recently so I can tell that people are thinking a little bit about next year maybe not purchasing but they're thinking and they're wondering and they have questions and ideas. Any kind of content that you can create, any kind of Pinterest, I've been on Pinterest a lot, not looking at TBT, not looking at teaching stuff. I've been looking at house renovation stuff. I can't decide what I wanna do in here. All of those things, teachers have so much more time to get on them now. What number am I on? Four, um, for you, posting products as soon as you're done with them is the best option because it kind of like closes the loop. When you start a new product, you're opening a new project. And so literally you're opening a project like on your computer, but you're also in your brain starting a new project. And so you're constantly thinking like, oh, I need to add this. Oh, I need to add this. Oh, I need to make this version of it. I need to be the black and white version of it. I need to do this and I need to do that. And so it's like, all of these, it's kind of like having a tab open in your brain, okay? When you start a new project, you're opening a tab in your brain and literally on your computer. When you finish that project, you can close that tab, but you can't close that tab until the product is finished and it doesn't get actually finished until you can post it and it is up and done and you don't have to think about it anymore. So the longer you leave that tab open, 
kind of like mentally the more stressful it is because you'll just feel like there's so many things going on which i know because i actually have a lot of products i need to post which i'm not avoiding like for any of these reasons like because i don't think people are going to see them or any of that um i just i just haven't gotten that far um and this week the internet's been out all week so that's been fun but when you have all those products that are not finished it's like having a lot of tabs open in your brain there's a lot of projects going on and it's like your brain just constantly reminds you like, oh, you need to do that. Oh, you need to do that. Oh, you need to do that. And so when you can actually finish the project, close the tab by posting your product, then your brain can like be a little bit quieter and not be quite as stressed because it has less projects open. I was listening to a podcast the other day and they had someone on there that was talking about this concept and talking about how people have like too many open projects. And so it was Ali Abdal's podcast podcast he was like well how many projects should people have open and the guy said three and I was like three I have like three projects open in a day like I work on more I work on more than three projects a day um so that was a little bit like unnerving to me um that doesn't seem like very many but my point being that the more you have projects open it's like the more brain space it takes up and so if you can like close that loop by finishing and posting a product then personally you're gonna feel a lot better because you don't have to constantly think about it and remember to post it later there's not really any benefit to posting your product later versus posting it now um yeah there's not really any i mean i guess you could get a little bit if you have a lot of people who follow you and you can post you know when more people are purchasing things and you show up on that like new from your favorite teacher sellers but honestly it's not enough that i would be worried about it i have a couple thousand people following me and i don't see enough uptick in sales that it really makes a huge difference so don't worry about what time it is just go ahead and post it it's not social media it's very different post your product as soon as it's done and you can get to work so that's the story my battery light's flashing so we're gonna go um leave me in the comments let me know what your most recent product has been because i'm curious and i look forward to seeing those bye